Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in this very very important update here on price action of Bitcoin. As we can see guys the price of Bitcoin has somehow managed to come across some of the key line of resistance and now is it going to result in an actual v shape type of recovery is it going to get attracted to us this monthly cpi line or what to expect next because if you look at this price action in a different time frame using different scenarios yes we are being flashed with some very very interesting moves so before i start talking about it i want you guys to do me a favor and quickly destroy that like button and to those individual watching this are the first time to hit that subscribe button and also a quick reminder if you haven't claimed this free 500 USDT position airdrop from Bybit and another 200 USDT futures position airdrop from Bybit then definitely check the video description because this event is temporary and if you are an experienced trader if you want to take advantage of this market volatility then the time to act is now so first thing first let's look at this price action you know weekly time frame because on my previous video I showed you guys that during uptrend we have seen plenty of such shakeout 20% 30% even up to 40% retracement but at the end the price was still able to make a new all-time high and we say hey in a bigger picture a very similar scenario could be unfolding here even though the price of bitcoin had a retracement around 29 30 percent it could be just a temporary pullback in a bigger picture so you can see the price here right price here formed a perfect descending broad new age type of formation with a very similar breakout structure i mean we had a bigger pullback here as well during this black swan event which resulted in a very very bullish move a v-shaped type of recovery and if you compare this formation you can see guys we are also flashing a very very similar move i mean the upper trend line from this descending broadening wedge is acting as resistance whereas the lower trend line is acting as support so this here could be another sign that in a bigger picture price after testing the key line support around forty-eight thousand has found bottom and also looks like it could be preparing itself for another continuation like this and why because in a bigger picture i showed you guys before and after the halving we have seen a very very similar move repeating again and again i mean the first halving where we were following this rising trend line this expansion trend line this expansion trend line was acting as a very very important line of support when we went to the first halving what happened with price action it got attracted to us this rising trend line i mean after the halving which resulted in a parabolic move same thing happened here if you follow this expansion trend line this yellow trend line before halving we were clearly following this trend line but when we went through the second halving you can see it resulted in a pullback price tested the support from this rising trend line and after that we went completely parabolic same thing has happened again and again price before and after the halving when we were following this expansion phase before turning parabolic the price got attracted to us this rising trend line and only after that showed an actual bullish move and now if we look in our case you can see we were also following this expansion phase price was also finding support at this rising trend line now this here was also a read this after the halving fourth halving so just like from this past price action this could be the final test around this support line before turning completely parabolic so what i'm trying to pinpoint is that if the price of bitcoin is going to follow this exact move again then just like here from the past price action this support line was one of the most important support for bitcoin which we tested and after this the price should show another continuation here to the upside because we found out that during this bull market right and bear market we have also seen this monthly rsi showing a warning sign when the market topped out i mean rsi overbought resulted in a bearish move rsi overbought during uptrend resulted in a bearish move you can see each and every time whenever we found that this monthly rsi was overbought it resulted in a bearish move but if you look in our case this rsi line is nowhere around the overbought area that means until we see this rsi line appearing around the overbought area until then we are expecting the price of bitcoin also to show another continuation like this i mean in a bigger picture this here could be a preparation for another continuation here to the upside but please be aware it might not happen today or tomorrow we might see weeks weeks of sideways movement but the bigger picture definitely shows that bitcoin could be preparing itself for another bullish move for the upcoming weeks and even for the upcoming months because if you simply zoom out and look at this descending broadening wedge which i showed you here i mean just like from this past price action when we broke out of this 
this in broad in which we had actual markov phase same thing could be happening here i mean after testing the support on this lower trend line the price of bitcoin could be preparing itself for another continuation at least around 60 61 000 before choosing a direction i mean before we choose an actual trend duration first there could be a move which could bring the price of bitcoin again above 60 000 and only after that decide the trend duration because we found out bitcoin parallelly was also following this descending channel a bearish continuation pattern lower highs lower loss continuation pattern but if we look at it right now the price has somehow managed to come across this lower trend line and in the past price action you can see finding support at this lower trend line has resulted in a very very bullish move so if the price is going to follow this exact pattern again you can see guys the price of bitcoin looks like could be preparing itself for another continuation here to the upside because we know the price right now is above the monthly S1 line. This monthly S1 line was an important line of support for us. So if the price simply remains above this 55,300, 55,500 range, you can see, guys, the next move is definitely going to be around this monthly CPI line, which is again above 60,000. But failing to do that, I mean, failing to find support of this monthly S1 line means it was just a read this i mean price showing a move like this a dead cat bounce type of formation right getting rejected around 0 0.6 0 0.6 on fibonacci line a perfect dead cat bounce rejection and then another continuation here to the downside because according to this leading indicator our second target for this month of august sits around 46,000. so to avoid this bearish move we definitely need the price to find proper support over this monthly s1 line because as soon as we find support of this monthly s1 line a proper support of this line this cpi line will be attracting us the upper trend line from the descending channel will be attracting us and even the descending broadening which upper trend line will be attracting us and now even if you look at this in a very simple way i mean yes this is a bearish crossover in Williams alligator indicator showing a crossover like this has definitely resulted in a bearish move i mean blue line at the top green line at the bottom and each and every relief rally got rejected after testing the resistance from this williams alligator indicator you can see each and every retest around this trend line definitely rejected us so what i'm trying to pinpoint is that same thing could be happening in our case as well before before seeing an actual breakout this could be also a relief rally price testing the resistance around this williams alligator indicator which sits around 60 61 000 range right before showing another continuation like this so to avoid this bearish move we definitely need this 60 61 000 resistance to be broken because we know right now right you can see price is fighting to remain over this monthly s1 line remaining over this monthly s1 line means 60 61 000 will be retested and that is also going to test the resistance from this cpi line and parallelly it will test the resistance from this william alligator indicator as well yes guys this williams alligator indicator this cpi line will be tested and that will be the turning point because right now you can see this upper trend line is also pointing us that we might be getting attracted here i mean just like from this past price action after finding proper support above this lower trend line we got attracted towards this upper trend line from the descending channel. So if we are expecting another continuation, you can see again 59, 60,000 will be retested, but we don't want to see another continuation happening like this. I mean, just like from this past price action after testing the 60, 61,000, we don't want to see another continuation like this. So that's why, that's why it's very, very important that we monitor the price movement around the 60, 61,000 carefully because as soon as this trend line gets broken, you can see guys the price will be will be getting attracted towards the upper trend line with six around 65 67 000. you can see another 65 67 000. and now even the upper trend line from this descending broadening wedge i mean once we break out of the 60 000 resistance line which in the past price action acted as a strong line of support you can see the same trend line could be attracting us for now but please please be careful we don't want to get trapped in a move like this i've already showed you that right a dead cat bounce type of movement a relief rally in between 0 0.5 0 0.618 line which is around 59,000 to 61,900 range and then another continuation here to the downside towards this 
monthly as to line around 46,000. So to avoid this bearish move, we definitely need the price of Bitcoin in the media short term to remain above this monthly S1 support line 55,000 and also break the resistance from this CPI line. I mean above 61,000 because as soon as we do that, you can see the price will be turning this previous resistance into proper support and we have a very very high probability of price going higher than 65,000 one more time so that's why guys that's why it is very very important that the price in the media short term stays above this s1 line which sits around 55,000 range and also break out from this williams alligator indicator and sepia trendline this is what i see looking at the price action of bitcoin in a different time frame using different scenarios but one thing is clear if you have any doubt i suggest you guys to simply zoom out because in a bigger picture there is nothing to worry about i mean even if the price shows another continuation again testing the support from this rising to line around 48 even up to 46 000, please do not panic that might be just a retest from this expansion trend line before turning parabolic so even if the price for the coming days coming weeks looks bearish please do not panic we have not ended this bull market according to my analysis so i personally think the upcoming days for bitcoin might be very volatile but the overall picture still looks bullish so this is what i see looking at the price action of bitcoin in a different time frame using different scenarios if you enjoyed my work then please guys do not hesitate to destroy that like button and to those individuals watching this for the first time to hit that subscribe button and also a quick reminder if you haven't claimed this free 500 USDT futures position airdrop from Bybit and addition to that another 200 USDT futures position airdrop from Bybit then definitely check the video description and by saying this I'm signing out until next time. Bye bye.